Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, information, guidance, advice, and I am reminded uh, of the time that a very perceptive young lady came to me, a little hot under the collar, and uh, pointed out to me a verse in the 32nd chapter of Deuteron Deuteronomy, uh, verse 15, which reads, And Yeshurun, Yeshurun is a poetic form of saying the Jewish people. And Yeshurun became fat and wicked. Some versions say fat and kicked and rebellious. Yeshurun became fat and wicked. And uh, you became fat. You became thick. You became corpulent. And it, the Jewish people, deserted God its maker and was contemptuous of the rock of its salvation. So the very perceptive young lady said to me, what's with the fat shaming in Dvarim? What's the, is this, you became fat, you became fat, you became thick, you became corpulent. What, I mean, we get the point, you gained weight. What's, what's going on here? Why is this text so redundant? Why is it bringing out the, the fatness? Um, it was the, um, the Devar of Ram who explained that the second part of the verse, the part where the Jewish people um, desert God and become contemptuous of God, the two parts are related. So what happened? What changed the, the Jewish people? What, what, uh, uh, what transformed them from a God-fearing, uh, decent, refined, serious-minded, holy human beings uh, and uh, made them into ox-like personalities that rebel at the yoke? Um, the, ander, the answer lies in something that you don't see in the English. The answer lies in the Hebrew spelling. A lot of these words end with a taf, the last letter of the, uh, of the Hebrew alphabet. So this suffix transforms the word into the second person. And it says, you know, you, you became fat, you became wicked, you became thick, you became corpulent. And the Torah in this verse focuses on the you. You yourself, you did this. You focused on yourself. You became selfish. You became narcissistic. You filled yourself with yourself. And as a result, you were thinking only of yourself. You excluded yourself from the rest of the Jewish people, from the rest of the, the nation. And it was this attitude of exclusivity that um, ended up in them completing them, uh, 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 separating themselves completely um, from the nation, uh, from its persona, from its spiritual character. And it was this that in turn laid the groundwork for them to desert the Creator. They became filled with themselves and this image of becoming corpulent, fat, gross, overweight, obese, they were filled with themselves. They became self-centered. And when one only thinks of himself, when one is only filled with what he wants, what he needs, me, 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 I, 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 He's not left any space for Hashem. When we become self-absorbed, self-obsessed, when we only can think of things in terms of us, what's in it for me? Uh, I'm so great. How come I'm not getting this? I'm fantastic. I deserve this. And uh, forget you. It's all about me. That person has not left any room in his heart or his soul. For anyone else, not even the Creator, not even God Himself. It's this corpulence, it's this concept of fat that 
laid the groundwork. That paved the road away from God. I'm not saying we shouldn't think of ourselves, God forbid. This, I mean, you have to think of yourself. Thinking of yourself uh, ha makes you think of buying food and paying for your accommodation and um, your clothing. You have to have a certain amount of self-interest. It's when it gets out of control. When you think only of yourself to the exclusion of everything else, that is opening the door out, going down the hallway away from God and away from the Jewish people and away from a proper religious life. And this applies also to B'nai Noach. Um, you may become very heady and giddy with uh, your newfound uh, closeness to uh, Hashem closeness to the Creator. Uh, don't become too cocky. Have some humility. Don't be filled with yourself. Don't swell up. Um, we've just been past the uh, Jewish holiday of Passover, and Chumetz, leaven, is compared with pride, because in the case of a leaven product, oat, oats, wheat, barley, spelt, rye, when it becomes wet, when it becomes chumitz, what does it do? It swells up. A person filled with pride swells up. There's the connection. In this posuk, when they're talking about Yeshua and the Jewish people becoming fat, corpulent, obese, thick, that, that according to uh, Dvar Avram, that's what it's talking about. This self-absorption paved the way away from God. Uh, let us be mindful of this. Um, let's uh, Ceaseless vigilance. Um, if you're going to focus on yourself, focus on things like this. Am I getting a little too, too full of myself? Am I expanding in a way that's not good? Not expanding my knowledge of Torah, not expanding my mitzvahs, not expanding my love of my fellow man. Am I filling myself with myself? And am I just starting to open the door that leads away from God? God forbid. Chas uh, We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you had a good Passover. And uh, until next time, on behalf of the Muna Project, I'm Daniel. And thank you so much.